Hey folks, welcome to ADSR. I'm Stephen Ellistad. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel and follow on social media for great production content. In this tutorial, I just wanted to take a quick look at a really simple drummer workflow to help you build up drum tracks really fast, yet still get some pretty interesting control over the development of the sound. Now, for those of you using drummer for a while, this is probably mostly second nature, but for those that haven't, Hopefully this will give you at least one new way of working that'll let you approach drummer creatively to quickly build out frameworks and rhythms for your song. I've got a basic little house groove. In fact, I'll mute my drums right now. And it builds up. To... So nothing fancy at all, just really a backdrop to showcase how we're gonna do some of this stuff. And I've got a basic deep tech kit set up here. If you haven't worked with drummer too much of course we can always adjust the sounds of our kit right over here and i'll look at that in another tutorial you can choose different drum kits for this particular drummer already right here We've got our presets so what i like to do is especially something like this where we're starting out kind of small first thing i like to do is turn everything off and so i end up having a blank one except for some fills and we'll see to get started i'm actually going to just add say a shaker and we'll bring it down to like a level two and and so the way I like to work with this is let's say that halfway through that we want it to develop a little more I'm just going to shorten it and then option drag it let's we'll say we want the hi-hat to come in there also pick it up a little bit, maybe increase the loudness of it. If I want to look at the specific details of something, we'll see here I have this variation in complexity for each section. I can adjust it and slide it around. I'm actually going to do that and back off the variation a little bit. Can build up these quick parts real easy and again we just to make sure we carry the properties over to the next tab let's just option drag it now in this case let's actually bring our claps in and maybe some percussion and we'll bring our percussion level complexity down a little bit now one thing I'll notice i've got this fills turned all the way down <laughs> So I like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag that like that. One way I like to work here is to think of my, actually have two different drummer tracks and think of them as different parts of the beat. Here I'm going to create another one, load up the same drummer and make sure we're on the same beat. We are. So on this one, I'm going to think of this as my, more of my kick and snare. And we'll say in this first part, I'm going to slice you out. I'm going to have some small fills in this one. And let's see what that does. <laughs> So we'll turn that off. I'm not sure I like that, but I do want to fill going into there. Cool. And so now I've got this second one that's got a whole different level of stuff. So I can maybe turn this off. But let's back that beat down a little bit. Maybe reduce our fill amount. So I think I got something I like there. Now I'll just, again, option drag that. And I'm going to option drag this one as well. But here, I'm going to start uh, splitting this thing up, reduce the fills in this little section here, and maybe a little softer, but a little more complex. And here, a little louder and a little more complex. And in here, we'll increase our fills up a little bit more. That's because I want to see that fill at the end build up. And at this point, I'll probably also maybe chop the very end and make sure I bring in my snare. <laughs> like so. And we'll bring up that intensity there a little bit. And if we want to really kind of increase the 
intensity of that snare there. We can just keep chopping and adjusting the both the XY pad as well as what is happening in a particular region. So in this one we see we have no snare. In this one we have some snare. In this one we have even more snare and we'll bring more claps in there. And we're increasing our fill level at each section as well. Maybe we'll actually try dropping this, this fill down and bringing this one way up. We'll see what happens there as a group. And the same thing's gonna happen here. I'm just gonna drag this and maybe I'll bring this up here. I wanna see some more intensity. Drop a couple of different points to split it up. Maybe add complexity first. And then at the same time, more fills. Something like so. So let's hear everything together now. we're kind of subdividing and changing the parameters of each particular region and also if we need to we can come in here and adjust say phrase variation or what have you if we want to try to force some more intense type of rolls for example let's come over here by adjusting the complexity range we can bring in different levels of variation and detail and that's for any of the particular instruments. We So we say to decide we want some snare in there. We'll just go ahead and bring that snare in. Maybe we'll even bring up a little more intensity level there. definitely be bringing in more degrees of complexity, intensity, different instruments, and having different, different tracks gives us a couple different points of control. Of course, if we wanted to follow a particular rhythm, we can always come in here and say follow this rhythm, even if it's something that hasn't yet occurred musically, so therefore it'll all kind of line up. So if we hear that with this, And that follow can work with any of these particular different elements we have going on. I hope that gives you some new ideas or some new ways of working with Drummer if you haven't already worked with it. In my next video, I'll take a look at how to quickly add fills to this using the Brush Tool and Ultrabeat. Make sure you subscribe to the ADSR YouTube channel, follow on social media, and until next time, take care and have a great day.